Google offers two free website builders that you can choose from to quickly create and launch your website online. Both these website builders have distinct differences and are suitable for specific requirements which I'm going to identify and discuss today. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to another brief tutorial. Today I'm excited to break down and discuss the differences between Google Sites versus the Google Business Profile website and help you identify the best website builder for your business. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into this guide, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and break down and discuss Google Sites versus the Google Business Profile website. Okay, so first let's understand exactly what Google Sites and the Google Business Profile website actually is. Now, Google Sites is Google's standalone free website builder that anyone can access with a free Google account or a paid Google Workspace account. Google Sites is one of the many apps that you can access with a Google account. Now, when you get started, you can choose to build a website from scratch or with a pre-made template within Google Sites. Then you have access to a simple drag and drop content editor to create your website. On the other hand, we have the Google Business Profile website. Now to access your website, you will need to sign up to the Google Business Profile, formerly known as Google My Business. Essentially, this will enable you to add your business details onto Google Maps for potential customers to find specific details about your business, like your business location, open times, phone number and your website. You can actually link your existing website to Google Business Profile or create a free website within your Google Business Profile. Now what I'll do is add two tutorials down below that will help you get started with either Google Sites or the Google Business Profile website. Depending on what you think will be the best option for you at the end of this video guide. Okay, so what about the cost of using both these options? Well, both the Google Business Profile website and Google Sites are completely free to use. However, with both these website builders, you have the option to connect a custom domain name for an annual fee. This will make your website look more professional from the perspective of your website visitors rather than having a Google branded domain name. Next, let's talk about the ease of use. Well, the Google Business Profile website is by far the easiest website builder to use, period. This is because the website is automatically generated for you based on the profile information that you added inside the Google Business Profile. However, this means you have very limited personalization. You can change the theme style, colors, and global font, but that's really it. On the other hand, Google Sites has a slightly steeper learning curve, but gives you more customization options, including creating your own website pages, adding your own content features, and you can integrate with other Google apps. Simply drag and drop content elements, section layouts, and other apps and elements from the right hand side into your website to then customize your website the way that you like. Both website builders do not have e-commerce features for selling products through your website, although you can integrate a free online store with another software with Google Sites if you want to sell products through your website. What I'll do is add a video tutorial down below if you're interested in learning more about this feature. Okay, now let's talk about the practicality between Google Sites and the Google Business Profile website and what they are best for. First, the Google Business Profile website is practical for bare bone website requirements. If you only need two basic CTAs, call to action buttons like call now, directions to your business, or a book now button if you have a separate booking software that you use, this Google Business Profile website is best for secondhand stores, electricians, brick and mortar businesses, and basically for any organization that conducts business over the phone or in the store, 
or I would also recommend the Google Business Profile website for businesses that have a very limited budget for investing into a website. However, for a more practical and feature-packed website requiring multiple pages, call to actions, and integrations like embedding videos, online forms, slides, and image carousels and more, then Google Sites is by far the best option for any business that requires a more comprehensive website. Okay, so what is my recommendation? Well, if you're running a local business of some sort, I always recommend that you set up your Google Business Profile. This is essential to dramatically increase your business's discovery on Google. However, rather than using the built-in website that the Google Business Profile offers, it's best to create a website with Google Sites and link this website to your Google Business Profile. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, what I'll do is add a Google Business Profile website tutorial and a Google Sites tutorial down below in our description for you to get started with either of these website builders. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief comparative guide between Google Sites versus the Google Business Profile website to help you identify the best option for your business. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this video and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.